What is going on everybody, Chief here, and I just want to talk to you real quick because I've seen it time and time again during volatile weeks like this one. People get nervous and sell for a loss instead of remembering that the market is forward looking. You're not buying a stock on green days to swing trade. You typically want to strategically buy in on red days. That's how smart money does it anyway. Buy on red and sell on green. When you get greedy, that's when you end up as bag holders. You see a green candle and you really just want to hope that it will continue moving upwards. If you come over and join us in the Banking with Billy Discord, you'll not only not only will you join a tight knit community, but you'll learn when to enter plays, when to exit plays. You'll get all of our bot alerts, cryptos, plays, and well, I can say I can honestly say that our crypto analyst apex he'll put just about any any of the the crypto guys to shame billy as you can see in the profits i mean that's all that's all they do every single day profits just posting profits going 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 profits every day so Okay, with all that said, let's get into the video. First up, I want to talk about AMC and Ape. I'll go over here and we'll pull this thing up to see what's going on with it. AMC and Ape. <clears throat> has announced the stockholder meeting for March 14th where there are two proposals on the table. Now for either of these proposals to be approved they are contingent on each other. Meaning both of them have to be approved or neither one of them happen and the third proposal comes into play and they just push the date back further. Uh, so what are the proposals? The first proposal is a share increase proposal to 550 million shares. And the reason for this, you'd have to look at how the contract was made originally. And Terra Capital agreed to purchase 106.59 million APE units for $75.1 million. Uh, while AMC agreed to buy back $100 million in principal lien notes due in 2026 and Terra has only purchased 60 million ape shares and the shareholder approval will result in ape units getting converted back into AMC this would force Antera to have to buy AMC shares instead currently Antera Capital is on the hook to purchase 46.59 million shares of ape or 46 million five hundred ninety thousand whichever way you want to look at it and then proposal number two is the reverse split which seeks to gain approval for a reverse stock split in a ratio of one for ten so let's think about this we know that ape is one one hundredth of a share uh, of AMC right so if you let me think about this for a second if they're gonna do a 1 for 10 reverse stock split in AMC that would be 1,000 shares for one AMC share of 1,000 ape shares would equal one AMC share after the split. Right? So, if you do the math on that, there, if I remember right, there's 4 billion shares. 1,000 divided by 4 billion is 4 million shares. And then, if they took it to 55, 550 million, 
and they did a reverse 10 split to be 55 million so it's either either the the free float for AMC will either be 59 million shares or if it's not a one one hundredth then it would be 40 million shares of a of ape which would be added to AMC which would make a free float of 95 million that was confusing as fuck I'm sorry guys my rough math I have it's either 59 million or 95 million shares whichever way you want to look at it once the reverse splits are done but that only happens if both of those get proposed otherwise like I said it gets pushed back and then we get to do it all over again um I'm gonna say yes to this um, because here's the thing any shorts that are in on ape once it's converted over right there's no more ape shares for them to buy and just like in Terra they'd be forced to buy AMC shares and if that happens then I mean at this current price they're looking at almost a 200% loss per share that they would have to buy into AMC so I mean there's that next up we're going to talk about GNS I fully expect GNS to consolidate just a little bit it's already in the pre-market hours. I'm up late as shit. I'm tired. Um, but I expect this one to make another push upwards. However, I caution all the stockholders. If you're up a substantial amount, take your profits. Don't be stuck bag holding this. Just like I said earlier in the beginning of my video. When you get greedy, that's when you up back, end up bag holding. Um, as I always say, don't be a sheep and follow the herd into the slaughterhouse. Ooh, this one. Let's let's look at Hellbiz. H L B Z. Hellbiz. I've swing traded this stock a few times. However, since CEO has mentioned the the joining the task force i have there is zero chance that he or hellbiz the company or directors have come up with a plan to get this thing to short squeeze all they're doing is following the tailwind of gns hoping that they can get this thing to reach a dollar organically i do not i do not trust this ceo he will 100 percent reverse split this stock and dilute the shares even though he says he's not going to the more he says it the more i believe he will Uh, what what else? What else? Ooh, BBBY. BBBY is on the verge of bankruptcy. We all know this. Um, I expect this one to have another small push up, and probably reach that. Mm, probably about four dollar mark but I don't see there, there's too much risk for the reward for this one guys um, once it goes in and does this ticker change to BBBYQ 
meaning that it's bankrupt. It'll fall to the OTCPK market, uh, and you cannot trade this thing while it's being liquidated or eventually bought out. Um, so yeah, I don't I don't think that one is worth the risk of of trading. You're gonna get your money trapped in there if you're not already. Next, we'll talk about Mullen. Um, Mullen has already had its shareholder meeting and approved for the reverse stock split. Uh, they're determined to hold out realistically. They have about five weeks to to reach one dollar organically or reverse split. As of right now, I don't see them doing a hundred a two hundred percent gain. Uh, it looks pretty slim without having either production or delivery news come out. I mean, it had to be something substantial to to reach that. So I fully expect them to, to go ahead with the reverse stock split here soon. And when they do do a reverse stock split, right now the proposed is anywhere between 1 for 2 and 1 for 25. Um, I suspect it'll be closer to one for twenty, because that'll put them around five dollars a share. And then, lastly, I want to talk about Peggy, because this one, this one's kind of interesting to me. Not so much of the short interest; it's the free float size. Um, Peggy. Peggy has a 6.6 .6 million free float and its short interest is sitting around 10% which is a lot less than most but all you need is a little bit of volume and this this rocket will ignite and take off so as you can see it's kind of done that in the past where I mean it had a 10x back in what October. I mean, look at that. And it it looks primed to to kind of do that again, if you know what I mean. So, <sighs> all right. I think that's it. I think I'm gonna go to bed. As always, thanks for watching. Consider hitting the subscribe and like button. If you have any questions, uh, just join the Discord and tag me. I'll be more than happy to try to answer them. If I can't answer them, somebody in there will. So, um, yeah, man, come come join us and learn how to trade with us. Appreciate your time. Thanks.